nowadays with Instagram and other social media platforms, we have an inside look into everyone's lives like never before. It's like we get to live vicariously through them. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be a rich kid in Saudi Arabia? Stay tuned to find out what things even the rich in the country can't do. If this is your first time visiting our channel, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more great content. Leave us an original comment down below and we will be giving out a $50 Amazon gift card. Today we're showing you inside the lives of the rich kids of Saudi Arabia. Rich kids are taking over. Seriously, they are everywhere. They may have been ruling the land for years, but never has it been so in our faces as it is today. With Instagram and Twitter, not to mention Snapchat, we get an inside look into what it's like to be born with a silver spoon. We can see rich kids all over the world and not just ones in our schools and cities. We bet when you think of wealthy kids, Saudi Arabia isn't one of the first countries you think of. Saudi Arabia gets a bad rap. People rarely want to travel there because of how the news showcases the country in a bad light. People often paint the country as if it is extremely dangerous. With so much turmoil going on all over the Middle East, it's hard to think about the people that are actually making a good living out there. But let us be the first to tell you that there are some people in Saudi Arabia who are living like kings and queens. In fact, they are kings and queens. Saudi Arabia is home to some of the richest people in the world. Think oil tycoons and businessmen with worldwide companies. Yeah, that kind of money. They have bank accounts that could put some Americans to shame again and again. But we don't have to tell you that. Better that we show you over the course of this video. So strap in and get ready to go to a country where the streets are paved with gold. Well, theoretical gold, but still. Most of the money in the country comes from oil. The massive amounts of oil in Saudi Arabia has made it one of the countries with the highest concentrations of super rich households in the world. Just to show you how much oil is in the land, imagine this. Saudi Arabia's Gawar field is the largest in the world. It holds an estimated 75 billion barrels of oil. An Olympic-sized pool can hold over 660,000 gallons of liquid. The oil in this field could fill over 4 million Olympic swimming pools. So, yeah, to say they have a crazy amount of oil in the country would be an understatement. Saudi Arabia's petroleum sector brings in about 335 billion of the country's overall GDP. GDP stands for gross domestic product. To put that in perspective, Iraq's GDP is 220 billion, Morocco's is 104 billion, Rwanda's is only 7 billion, and Tonga's is a measly 460. 66 million. These numbers basically show that Saudi Arabia is king in the Middle East. With so much wealth in the land, you would think that most of the people in the country are pretty much drunk with oil money, but that isn't the case. In Saudi Arabia, the rich are super rich and the poor are absolutely destitute. An estimated 20% of the entire population lives in extreme poverty. Just kilometers away from some of Riyadh's most luxurious shopping malls are the capital's slums. But because the country is known for its wealth and decadence, the poor are hidden out of sight. The the state hides the poor very well, said Rosie Bashir, a Saudi scholar who has written on the subject. The elite don't see the suffering of the poor. People are hungry. This is the stark contrast to the amazing riches that the wealthy have. In 2013, Forbes magazine actually estimated that King Abdullah's personal fortune was around $18 billion, which would make him the world's third richest royal, right behind the leaders of Thailand and Brunei. To name a few, we have the Kamel family. Salah Kamel is the founder and chairman of Della Al Baraka, which is a conglomerate that deals with Islamic banking, real estate, and food production. He took Dalla Health public in 2012, but still kept a 54.6% stake in the company. He is estimated to be worth $2.1 billion. Surpassing Salah in wealth, we have Prince Al-Walid bin Talal. As a member of the royal family, he is estimated to be worth $22.6 billion. He has two children, Prince Khalid bin Talal and Princess Reem bin Talal. Princess Reem attended college in the U.S. and is often compared to Kim Kardashian for her beauty. Her brother Khaled shares many of his escapades on his Instagram where he commonly fights for animal rights and sits in gold-plated rooms. Casual, right? Those are only a few of the richest families in this oil-heavy country. To see more rich Saudi Arabians, simply head over to Instagram. Like all other rich kids, the rich in Saudi Arabia also have their own joint Instagram account. You can find it under the handle Rich Co Saudi. The page has over 7,000 followers and features most of the things that you would expect from rich kids. Lavish cars and vacations to match litter this news feed like no other. But there is something that sets the Saudi Arabian Instagram apart from the others, the exotic animals. Most of the rich kids' Instagrams may feature a cute puppy or two, 
but the kids of Saudi Arabia are far too cool for that. Their page only features the most exotic of animals. We are talking lions and tigers, just to name a few. You will only find pictures like these on the Instagram accounts of the wealthy in the Middle East. But while places like Dubai are cracking down on the availability of wild animals that can be bought as pets, the rich kids of Saudi Arabia are still posing with them as if it's nothing. If you can't get enough of the antics of the wealthy youngsters of this economic powerhouse, then you can follow some of its richest trendsetters personal accounts. Take Princess Dina Aljuhani Abdulaziz for instance. Her Instagram account Dina the First has grown wildly popular. She has over 80,000 followers. Her page is mostly about expensive and upscale fashion, which makes sense since she was the previous editor-in-chief of Vogue Arabia. So, if you want an inside peek at fashion for the rich and famous, here's a page you should definitely follow. Prince Fahad Al Saud also has a huge presence on Instagram. He is the CEO and founder of New Arab Media, a company which brings digital content to Arab audiences. He describes himself as the friend that you have to explain to your other friends before they meet him, so you know that he gets up to some pretty wild antics. Well, when we say wild, we mean wild within reason. Because no matter how rich you are in Saudi Arabia, you still have to abide by the strict rules of the country. For instance, men and women cannot mix in public places. In many malls, only women are allowed to go in alone or men who are accompanied by a woman. In restaurants, there are usually two sections, one for families and one for singles. In mall restaurants, there is even one ordering line for women and one for men. In standalone restaurants, the area is completely segregated so that single men are not interacting with single women at all. Public movie theaters are also banned. The reason behind this rule is that the privacy and darkness of a theater would allow men and women to mingle without supervision. The only theaters that people can go to are privately owned and in company compounds. Because of this, many wealthy people in Saudi Arabia will drive over to Bahrain for the weekends to watch movies. They will also go there to drink because alcohol is another big no-no in the country. For the rich that live on the border, going to Bahrain is no problem. Everyone else who can't afford weekend trips must just live with the restrictions. Women also aren't allowed to work out in gyms. In Western culture, rich people tend to always work out or have private fitness instructors to keep their bodies looking perfect. But in Saudi Arabia, public gyms for women have been closed for good. In girls' schools and universities, there are no gym classes. If the rich girls of this country want to stay fit, they have to work out at home. While being rich in Saudi Arabia may come with its perks, if you are a woman, you will still have some hardships. For instance, women aren't allowed to do most jobs in the country. Most women can only work in the education or medical fields. Recently, they have also been allowed to work as store clerks. Women also cannot travel alone unless they have a specific form or electronic authorization. When a woman turns 45, the ban is lifted. But for young women, you must either travel with your husband or father or have a form signed by a male guardian. Women are also not allowed to drive in Saudi Arabia. Some wealthy women have been known to drive inside their private compounds. But when it comes to going outside, most of the time the family must hire a private driver to take its women around. Otherwise, the men in the family must always drive. The reason for this rule is to prevent women from leaving their houses more often than needed and from having contact with unrelated males. In late 2017, this rule was lifted and women were given the right to drive. The new law will not go into effect until the summer of 2018, but at least it is a step in the right direction for not only the rich but every woman in the country. Even though there are some strict restrictions on what the people in Saudi Arabia can and cannot do, the rich still find ways to live it up. Just look at their Instagram accounts and you will see pictures of actual gold guns. Can you imagine how much a golden gun would cost? Or what kind of privileges you must have to get your hands on one in a country that is so strict? These kids have absolutely no fear. Not only are they buying golden weapons, but they also put their hands in lion's mouths for fun. This kind of recklessness just goes to show that when you are rich, living life on the edge is an everyday thing. And why wouldn't it be? These kids shop in the best places, they wear the most lavish clothes, and they drive the fastest cars. And when we say fastest, we mean Ferraris, Porsches, and Mercedes by the dozen. When it comes to cars in Saudi Arabia, rich boy Turkey bin Abdullah is the go-to guy. He's known for his fleet of crazy cars that have been customized by the Dubai branch of West Coast Customs. You remember West Coast Customs, right? The notorious car customization company even had its own show on MTV called Pimp My Ride. Turkey is also cruising around, showing off his cars. You can easily find videos of him chasing down camels on desert slopes in a six-wheel Mercedes G63. 
talk about living it up. If you want to look at these cars in person, you can see most of them parked outside the famed Kingdom Center, which is one of the most luxurious shopping centers in the whole country. So of course, you know the rich kids in the area love to spend their time there. Located in the capital city of Riyadh, the mall is one of the major landmarks of the country. It features shops like Fendi, Gucci, and Avanti to name a few. Only the best brands can take up residence in the Kingdom Center. Shopping is a staple in this country. Wearing name brands and luxury items is the best way to show the world that you have so much money you can throw thousands away on a shirt. If there is one thing that the rich kids in every city have in common, it's their love for dropping bags of cash on clothing. Saudi Arabia is no different. So if you want to find the rich kids in the area, you can bet that they will be at the shopping plaza spending loads of cash. So life for the rich kids in Saudi Arabia is a bit of a mixed bag. On the one hand, they have to endure strict restrictions that most kids in other areas don't. The rich women in other countries probably just hop in their expensive cars and drive wherever they want. They can shop whenever and wherever they would like as well, regardless of if men are around. The rich in Saudi Arabia don't have that kind of freedom. But what they do have is extreme wealth, and some could say that money does buy happiness. Anything that is legal is theirs in the blink of an eye. So, in Saudi Arabia, it definitely pays to be rich. But at what price? Plenty of rich people in the country immigrate to other countries so they don't have to live under such restrictions. So, being a rich kid in Saudi Arabia definitely has its perks. But for some people, that isn't enough. That's it for Inside the Lives of the Rich Kids of Saudi Arabia. Were you surprised by some of the restrictions? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching.